Hello everyone, and thanks for watching my video on VLOOKUPS. Wow, we have quite a video today to view different types of VLOOKUPS. And all, I'm going to show a total of seven, I think it's seven? One, two, three. I'm sorry, six different um, VLOOKUPS. Uh, we have a table just to get you uh, up to date it's actually uh, just data uh, it's not a table um, and I have it in a named range called data as you can see right here um, that's just so we can easily access it alright so our first one we have a, a list of our salespeople um, just a drop down list when you click into it and we would like to easily be able to view our address so you see address is the third in the list one two three third to the right okay so we want to say equals the lookup and you use tab and I use the arrow to go over to Josh comma the table array um, data now if you could also go click on the and highlight just the table itself and lock it okay but let's escape out of that and I'm gonna use the named range data that I've added alright and now our column index okay remember that was third from the right so we want to go ahead and type three now you can do approximate or exact um, pretty much you almost always want to use exact and, and there are some uh, there are some instances that you want to use um, Uh, approximate and I do not have any of those on this example but I will pause the video and add one right now so we will do a total of seven just give me a second okay so in we've added uh, no, um, a little bit of changes here just so uh, you know um, basically we're gonna set it up where if they have a certain amount of sales then their commission rate is going to change so if they have one it is five percent if they have three it is uh... six percent and five is twelve etc etc so let's go equals count if in our range Okay, criteria. All right, so he has five. So we want we can manually say he has five, so it's twelve percent. So let's go twelve percent. And then our earnings would just simply uh, we're gonna call this a dollar or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Equals this times this. Okay. So it looks like he made 60 cents. Yeah, that's okay, but that's not realistic. But all right, but if you want it to manually update by itself, you can go equals VLOOKUP, this number, and this table array. And you can push F4 to lock it if you're going to copy it down. Um, and our column index is 2. And then the default is approximate match. You can either type true in or just not add any of it. I'm going to not add any. Alright, so now if we were to change this to James you can see it or 
Jane or Sean, you can see it automatically updates. And that's an approximate match. But for the rest of the videos, or for the rest of the video, we're going to go ahead and use um, exact match. So now here we want to be able to copy this across and copy it down so we don't have to type VLOOKUP a bunch. So we can go equals VLOOKUP. The data, the same as before. Now, we, this happens to be, let's go back to our data, it happens to be the same as, well, if it was the same, we had the phone number in there as well. Let's add it in there. If it, ha if it happens to be the same and you want to look up everything, you can be look up. Table array is data column. You can say equal columns. And you can say you have to add the dollar sign, A, 1, colon, B, 1. And now as you drag that across, it's going to make an expandable range. Right now that says 2 because there's two columns. By pushing F9, you can see that. Alright, and then we want to say, I use 0. You can type false out if you want, but 0 and false are the same in Excel. Alright, so to drag that across, you didn't work. Oh, okay. This is because I didn't lock the. Right. You have to lock your um, lookup value as well. So you look that up, and you can see that it does what you want. Now we can double click by dragging your cursor over the little bottom right corner it'll come to a plus you can double click and it will send it down all right now see how in this one we have different we have different um, columns they're in different orders um, so you can't really use the columns function here let's let's try a different one let's say look up Let's try out the match function. What the match function does, it will, now you have to lock it so that it will not go down. Words. It will look in this and see if it is a match or not. You do one exact. It's very similar to VLOOKUP with that. And now as you see we drag it across, it gives us a list of numbers. Well, you ask, what does that do for us? Well, if you remember here, this gives us a list of numbers as well. That's three. That's four. Oh, five. I must just skip a row. Alright, so this will just do it for us. So you can say VLOOKUP. drag it across and send it down okay so that is match and be look up together now this these are uh, you have a let's say you had a list of different people here and you wanted to be able to see how much they had 
um, in that week. Well, you could, yeah, go like this, equal sum. And double click, and, and that will give you the, the total amount. Uh, but you, you have it on a different sheet, or you have it somewhere else. And you want to be able to choose which one and easily see which are the total amount. So let's you look at um, some product here. All right. Well, let's first of all let's do V lookup. And you want the array. And you now know that you can just put one single number in there, and it will give you the corresponding week. You know, right here we're at 407, because that's Josh. But how do you get all of the weeks in here? Well, it's called Array Syntax, and to do so, it's your little curly brackets that are above your double quotes. So if you add those in there, you can add more than one value. So you can say two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five. Now that's going to give you, if you highlight it up here and you push F9, that's going to give you, as you can see, your list of weight or each value. So you can just simply type that in sum. And you say, oh, but it only gives me the first value. Why is that? Well, it's because we didn't use the keyboard shortcut, um, Control Shift Enter. But if you don't want to use Control Shift Enter, and you have the curly brackets in here, you can just use some product and set, and that will give us the um, array syntax and give us the correct value here. I used control shift 4 and that's how I got the dollar sign there. Alright, now this one we want, what happens if we have week 5? We drag week 5 in here and we add some values to week 5. Well, this doesn't update. Um, that could be a problem. You know, so let's let's go ahead and make it so it will. All right, equals VLOOKUP. This is just the same as before that we just did. That gives us the next one but we want it to automatically do that so we're gonna have to add a little bit different of features this one we will not be able to use some product we'll actually have to use some and control shift enter but so what we want to do we want to go ahead and use the row function and that will give us a list of our values but to do so we want to say indirect Indirect takes uh, text and turns it into a range. So we want to say two, because that was our start, colon, and that's the syntax, and, or ampersand, which is um, seven, uh, shift seven, count. Count will only count numbers. And now we 
close this off and close off row. Now you have to use the keyboard shortcut control shift enter. But first let's look and see what this does for us. Oh that's index. This is supposed to be indirect. That gives us two, three, four, five, just like what we had before. So we use Control Shift Enter, and that gives it. Now we add week seven or week six, seven. Okay. And but this doesn't update because we didn't make the range big enough. Let's make that go to Z or something. Alright, now we add this in here, and it up will update. We change it here, and it will update. Alright everyone, there were several different VLOOKUPs for you, and thanks for watching my video. Uh, please reply in the comments if you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. Also, if you like my video, go ahead and click subscribe at the top when you are ready. Thanks everyone and have a wonderful day. Bye.